In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. Well, we've all seen the commercials on television. We've seen billboards. The commercials usually go like this. You have a star athlete, someone like Kobe Bryant, or maybe Sidney Crosby. They're practicing. They're practicing hard. They're sweating. They're exhausted. And then at one point, they turn and they drink a blue or a yellow beverage called Gatorade, and it replenishes them. It gives their body the needed vitamins, the needed electrolytes, and it allows them to perform at a great level. Implicit in the message is, is that in life, when we work, when we play, we thirst. And thirst can be a very powerful, motivating drive. It's a yearning. Now, we take water and Gatorade and things like that for granted in Canada. We have an abundant supply. But there are places in the world where an entire person's life is planned around water. They have to make arrangements to walk or take a mule, travel great distances to get a pail or a bucket or a jar of water, and then bring it home. Every ounce of it is precious for drinking, for cooking, for bathing. In Canada, we just turn on the tap, and there it is. But thirst can be a very powerful force. We thirst not only for water, but in our lives, I think we thirst for other things. We thirst to get into university or college. We thirst to get a good job. We thirst for love. The thirst is so powerful that some people, some of us, we look for love in the wrong places, but we thirst for it. We need it. Our, our entire being craves it. This past Sunday in the Gospel, Jesus encountered the Samaritan woman. It was a beautiful story. I'm sure you know it and remember it. But while talking to the Samaritan woman, Jesus offers her water Water that if she drinks it, she will never thirst again. I think what Jesus is saying is that if we have a relationship with him, if we have a relationship with God, a lot of the things that we thirst for, we will be satisfied. We won't need them. If we have a relationship with Jesus, we'll have all that we need. Oh yes, we'll need a drink of water, that's for sure. But when it comes to love, when it comes to needing to feel wanted, when it comes to needing to uh, have all of our earthly cares taken care of, Jesus can satisfy them, these. Let us drink from the well that Jesus invites us to drink from. Let us taste and see that the Lord is good. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. A couple of announcements just before I turn things over to Studio 30. Uh, this afternoon, we will be going to the Japanese consulate in downtown Toronto to deliver our book of condolence and to bring the money that was raised so generously by St. Paul's School to give to the Japanese community and to the Japanese government. We will take pictures, but before we go, and we'll be leaving probably at one o'clock, please sign the book of condolence if you haven't done so outside the chapel in the hallway. Also, there's been a card prepared for Robert Semko, one of our students who had surgery during the March break. And if you're a friend of Robert Semko, and especially his fellow players on the baseball team, if you could come to the chapel at the beginning of the third, uh, first lunch today, period three, we'll have some markers there. You can sign the card, and we're going to take that over to Robert to help him feel good and help him to recover and get back to school quickly. Have a great day, St. Paul. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
Good morning, St. Paul. My name is Charlene Wolf, and here are your morning announcements. To all past ESL students and English language learners, you know who you are, Mr. Zanansky, Mr. Finnamore, and our school settlement worker, Enrique Huang, invite, are inviting you to a fun free filled days guided tour of Toronto's Black Creek Pioneer Village on Monday, May 16th. That's right. The trip costs you nothing but your time, attention, wonder, and enjoyment. Learn the ways life was lived by Canada's first immigrant pioneers over 100 years ago. For more details and to sign up, please see Mr. Zanansky in room 214 after school. Think fast participants, please pick up your t-shirts from room 132 during lunch. Grade 12 students in Construction and Energy High Skills major program are asked to see Mr. Brugman's during period two only for your Schism shirts orders. Change the World is a call to action for youth aged 14 to 18 years to volunteer through a wide variety of exciting community initiatives. The goal is to inspire youth to volunteer in our communities, develop new skills, and broaden their awareness of community service organizations. This year, 21 volunteer centers are participating across Ontario and they hope to surpass the goal of 10,000 youth volunteering for a minimum of three hours over three weeks. There will be an information session held in Mississauga next week for any students who are interested in participating in this initiative. The dates and location is Wednesday, March 30th from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Mississauga Central Library, Classroom 3. And now, time for sports. There will be a slow pitch practice after school on Friday in the gym. All players must attend. Please let Ms. Calderelli know if you cannot attend. There will be a mandatory practice for the girls' junior soccer team on Wednesday after school. This practice will be outside, so dress appropriately. All students in grade 9, 10, 11, and 12 who wish to try out for the St. Paul track and field team should sign up on the sheet on the bulletin board outside the gym. Please write your name, grade, and which events you would like to try out for. Tryouts will be held next week, and you must sign up to try out. Further information will follow later this week. Senior boys soccer players must pick up a form from Mr. Salfidas for the March 31st indoor soccer tournament. You must play in this tournament if you want to be part of the senior boys soccer team. That's it for your morning announcements, St. Paul. The song of the day is, by the way, by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Have a great day.